When I see as I look like this today, I look my face very well. Now she said my face they show my cap is my cap is red. The gods are not happy. The gods are very angry this moment now because things that are happening this moment need to give us joy. Yes, my name is Ete Dangote, aka Dongila Tumobradi Kumsa, aka the only of this tabernacle. You see, on this channel, we bring you the truth and nothing but the gospel truth. We need to fear who is involved, we need to fear who they guilty or not. You know, as a matter of fact, a matter of urgency, there are some things that are happening that somebody do need to keep quiet. But before I say anything now, I want you to listen and watch this video from a very pronounced man of God, very known man of God, intellectually sound, anointing full crown, that if he cough alone himself, even in shed, when he reach uh, embassy, if police come near him like this, only in Yaka we go remove drop for you, you will fall under anointing. Just listen to what he wants to, to talk right now. I just escaped an assassination attempt where seven people were killed. My car was attacked, opened fire on my car, and kept spraying it with bullets. My wife and my kids were there. The escort car with some the other people, the other escort car, the buses with us, seven people. We are all moving the convoy. People would be expecting me to come out, mention their names, so they will come out and deny. I won't do that. But the truth of the matter is this. You can't kill me. My life is in the hand of God. I'm a man of God. And those who are among those attacking me, you are building on what you don't understand. You may have joined into the fora because you want to chase clouds, but you don't know where the fight started from. There are things you don't understand. You don't have an idea of the beginning of what happened 2017. The people who are behind it. You may come and you are doing your own thing, but it's beyond what you are thinking. I'm alive for those who have been calling and all that. I'm well. Family is fine. Yes. But well, I know this an anointed man of God, Apostle Yonsen Suleiman. He has come out now to say this thing. He sat down comfortably well to saying this thing. And you want me to be happy and not to say the truth? I know the Bible says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I'm not doing you no harm. I'm not touching you. In the time of Jesus Christ, they said he has only 12 disciples. Twelve disciples, no car. He no get any car. He never drove any car. Not to talk of having a bulletproof car. Who can respect you very well. I like the anointing. And I respect the anointing. But this very particular thing that just happened right now, I'm angry. I am very, very angry. You know, one, one, one movie said to be angry is easy. How can you come out and say they attack you? You are in a car, in a vehicle with your family. It's not just car, a bulletproof car. You went ahead to say that uh, people that are fighting this battle, they don't know what has, has transpired since 2015. Okay, you don't fight this battle since 2015. Why didn't you carry the matter to the proper authority? My annoyance now is that. For the seven people that you say they buy, that is my annoyance. That is where I am grieved. I am very, very grieved right now. That you can come out to tell us that seven people. Now, inside the seven people now that, that you say they buy, as a man of God that you are, that you even say they cannot even touch you. Because Bible is talking. That touch on my anointed and do my prophet no arm. Why didn't you emulate Jesus Christ that walk on foot? and drove on a camel for the first time in his life. You went and got a bulletproof car. That is to say that you know what is ahead of you. You, you prepare yourself ahead of time. And then why don't you tell all these other people to get a bulletproof car? Oh, man of God, I smell something fishy because I'm talking from the, from the tabernacle of the truth. And I don't fear anybody to tell the truth. 
Now people may not use this matter very critical because I am provoked. I'm very, very angry right now. How can this man of God that I respect so much come out and say they attack him and buy seven people and he was in the, the shared granol on his car. You think you, you can see from, from the car there that the, 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 the bullet in injury everywhere. As anointed man of God, you know that prevention is better than cure. Why don't you get these people a bulletproof car too? Yes. Why don't you? It's not as if you cannot afford it. Why don't you get them a bulletproof car? These are people, parents. The uniform men there, their parents. They are, they are, they are, they are breadwinners to their family. So that people don't know, they will not come to church. Oh, we do donation, we commemorate, uh, we, we, we condole with the people that um, lost their life during this, this uh, attack on the man of God. We, we sincerely uh, come out of God. If your family can be inside a bulletproof car, if your family can be protected with a bulletproof car, why don't you get a bulletproof car to these other people? Apostle Joseph Suleiman, this thing that just happened now, you know fully well that you can afford bulletproof car for yourself and your family to, to be protected. You know that you plan ahead of time. I know you might have seen it because you said since 2017. Sorry, because you said since 2015. There have been series of attacks. Some people are attacking you that you got this one days, you did this, you carried this pro, um, one, one, one woman, you carry another one. Things have been happening. But my question is, you know that you are not safe. Even, even, even when you pray fire down, you know that you are not safe. You know, at times, people, uh, people don't read their Bible very well. I'm not against any man of God. Mm -mm. Don't quote me wrong. Don't misquote me. I'm not against any man of God. But it has gotten to the time that we need to use our head. Bible do not make mistake to say, my people perish because they lack knowledge. The man of God has used knowledge to know that the world is not a safer place. No wonder, oh, Michael Jackson of the Blessed Memory just sang, Hill the world make it a better place for you and for me and the entire universe because the world is not safe. And you, you just carry yourself empty. You audacity, you know hold. Christ, you know hold. Bulletproof, you know get. And the man of God is supposed to pro provide these bulletproof cars for these people. Now provided for only him. And you want the new of this kingdom. Agbon Karambo said to be happy with you. Man of God, if I said what is in my mind, you won't be happy. To God, if I say what is in my mind right now, you won't be happy. You see that my face, my, my eyes are red now because I'm very, very angry. Seven people. And none is from your family. And you want me to be happy. You came out and say eh, they attack you. You want to mention him. That is the annoying part right now. That is the annoying part of this whole story. That you know the people. Since 2015, you did not mention these people to the right authority. You know them. The people that are coming to fight this fight now, they should not come and take the fight that is not their own. You know these people. You are coming now to tell us. That is where you lose it. The kind of respect people have for you. Nigerians are not happy right now. Even me that I'm talking to you now from this tabernacle, I am not happy. Because you know the truth. And you keep telling us that, speak the truth. You speak the truth and say, you are the oracle of truth. I know you for that one. But for this particular one that you just say now that, hey, you know the people, they want you to mention them so that they will come after you. If you know them, why you want to bring them out? Why won't you bring, for the sake of these seven people that they just buy now, bring the people now. Let the, the law take its full responsibility. You can, we can't keep doing things like this. You can't keep cajoling people, using people's life to play caricature. You come to policy, they use us. You come to church, they want to use us. Ah, don't you have the fear of God, these people? See, let us call a spade a spade. If not spoon, we call and spoon. If not shovel, call and shovel. If not fork, fall and fork. If not rake, call and rake. On this particular one, I disagree. I totally disagree with this man of God for this thing that happened now. Man of God, for the sake of these people that lose their lives, call the name of these people. Report them to the right authority. Let them come and de deny it. You should be grateful that you are alive. 
But the way you analyze the whole thing, you, you, I think, I think, I don't know. You just say it like you, there is no remorse that these people. This, you know, why you need these followers and I don't know what to call you people. Sir, you need to be wise. You need to read your Bible, not upside down. You don't allow somebody to read Bible for you. Read the Bible and understand it. There is a difference between reading and understanding. The man of God. Read Bible is anointed. He knows he has the anointing. There's no doubt about it. He has the anointing. Then he still went ahead to buy a bulletproof car. Then other people that we were, were with him, they were not on bulletproof car. That is why the bullet could penetrate their body. They were not used as shield. And you want us to keep quiet on this one? Why didn't you buy a bulletproof car for these people so they won't be? So you mean that their their, their life is, don't, don't 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 have value? Everybody's life in this life has value and it matters. I'm, I'm very, very angry right now from this tabernacle because there are some things that are happening that we do need to keep quiet. If I talk now, they'll say, uh, you're talking about a man of God. You're not supposed to talk about a man of God. Those people that lost their life, is, is, I, I, don't know, I don't know human beings. Now, people, family, be that. Now, people, generation, don't go like that. Now, people, bless me that. How can you go to work protecting a man of God and the man of God is protecting himself with, with a bulletproof car? And you want me not to talk about it? I can't keep quiet on this one. All I want to do is I want the truth to come out. I speak the truth and I fear nobody. I face your front, you face your front, me, I face my front, everybody going in way. As a matter of fact, I don't come out here right now because I don't revex already. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.